Have you noticed how good children are at figuring stuff out? G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. Welcome to the vlog, episode number five. I've just been thinking recently about our two grandchildren. One of them's aged four, the other one is aged two, and both of them show um, behaviours that show that they're thinking about things, they're figuring things out. The four-year-old talks and talks and talks and has a well-developed vocabulary already. And I've noticed that she uses words, and of course lots of children do this, she uses words like bide. I bide something from the shop. And I used to think in my naivety, uh, when I was a young teacher, I used to think, well, that's wrong. You've learned that wrongly. I'll need to straighten that out for you. What I discovered later after listening to a language expert was that that's actually showing, adv uh, showing advanced thinking on the part of the child. And in fact, some children will transition from saying bought, you know, mummy bought something in the shop, to later on changing that and saying, I buy it. And the reason for that is initially they're just copying the language. So they're hearing the word bought and uh, they're repeating the words and so on. But later on, they understand that in the past tense, we typically add d on the end of a word. So um, shouted, for example, don't shout. Yesterday I shouted and we put the d, of course, on the end of a word to show past tense. And so they apply the rule to the verb buy and say, I buy this, I am buying this, but yesterday I buy it. And so it's showing active involvement in understanding the rules of language and they end up with a word that nobody's taught them. No teacher, no adult, no parent has said that, you know, we bide something. Nobody says that except young children. So the fact that they figure that out, um, I think is just a, a wonderful example of how they're thinking about their world and how to interact with it and how to really grow up, you know, and act like other people and speak the way they do. It's just marvelous how children learn the way they do. And the other examples come from our two-year-old grandchild. Um, her name's Ivy and she understands so much and she is learning and copying. And as I said, she's only two, she had just turned two recently. And she's learning to speak and she's now putting words together to make a sentence. So after pointing to an object and naming it one thing at a time and naming ears and eyes and fingers and toes and things like that. She can now put words together and she started doing two words at a time. So she say Ivy's shoes, granddad's shoes, mummy's shoes. And now she's up to four words. And I've noticed she leaves out all the little words. So I will repeat back to her what she said and add all the other words. So I will say, you know, granddad wears shoes and Ivy wears shoes too. And she'll say granddad's shoes, Ivy's shoes. And she's picked out the most important words and she's making sense. She's expressing meaning without all these fiddly little words that for her um, are difficult to use at this stage. So what do we gain from this? To me, it's just another, um, another piece of evidence if we needed one to convince us as educators to give children opportunities to understand to engage with what they're learning at a level where they're making sense of it for themselves. I think all teachers have taught lessons where it basically became a, um, a situation where the teacher said, look, don't worry about whether it, it makes sense or not, just, just learn it, you know, just remember this. Um, we'll go over it again tomorrow. There's an exam on Friday, that sort of thing. Um, but life and observing children and just seeing what they're capable of shows us day after day after day that children can think for themselves and given the opportunities they can understand what they're doing um, and as I've said before to me that's so important in the teaching of mathematics that we should always approach math as something that can be understood and should be understood by all our students and so that should be one of our number one goals as we teach mathematics. So what examples do you have of children showing how well they can think for themselves, how well they can figure things out and understand and explain what they know in their own words? I'd love to hear your comments, so please do leave a comment below the video. If this is the first time you've encountered these videos, then do subscribe. There's a link below the video or there's one on the screen 
and uh, you can subscribe and you'll get notification when new videos come out. So that's it for this video and I look forward to talking to you again very soon.